At an interview, I would encourage a candidate to appear professional. So in terms of what to wear, I would suggest um, a suit jacket, a suit, trousers, skirt. And just remember that from the minute you walk through the door at an assessment centre, you are being assessed and first impressions do count. We would expect them to be smart, professional, um, you know, wearing a business attire, I think is the fair thing to, to refer to it. I think it's really important that the candidates actually feel very smart and feel comfortable because in a, in a selection day, it may not necessarily just be an interview, there might also well be some competency-based activities. They need to feel comfortable, but it's very important they look smart. What they need to understand, and with British Gas in particular, a lot of our roles are customer-facing. So therefore, what we're looking for is that smart appearance in front of the customer. So it's very important to be able to project that. So it doesn't necessarily mean a suit. Um, it could be a comfortable shirt, a smart shirt, a smart shirt and tie. Um, trousers, shoes, but obviously not jeans, trainers, polo shirts, t-shirts. And I think you've also got to be in mind the perception that you might give to people in an interview. So for example, if you've got visible tattoos or piercings, it's not recommended that you actually go into an interview with those uncovered. I think candidates need to come prepared to um for the professional world, you know, they need to demonstrate that they, they're moving away from their school or from their college. Um, so if they've got a suit, great, wear a suit. Um, if they've got some smart clothing, you know, a jacket of some sort or a jumper, really they need to demonstrate that they're moving into the professional world now. Um, and I think that gives them confidence as well, that they're prepared for the day and that they're taking this seriously.